as it's actually from Bookaholics Anonymous, and this is another tag. So, um, this one I found over on Liko's channel, and so I figured I'd do it just because I have nothing better to do. And they're just random, random ass questions. So, bear with me here. Um, so, the first one is number one is whose butt would you bite? So, I don't want to really be biting anyone's butt, but uh, I think if I had to, like, had to, like, you bite this person's butt or else kind of thing, I would say maybe Johnny Depp. I don't know why, just because I kind of like Johnny Depp, like his Jack Sparrow and everything else, and all his other weird ass characters he plays, so yeah. Question number two is, who would you resuscitate, resuscitate from the dead? I'm thinking that means resurrect from the dead. I would probably say, like, somebody I could actually meet and talk to would probably be, like, my mom's parents, because they died when she was young, so I never got to meet either of them, and, yeah, it'd just be nice to meet them, and I'm saying, um, and for celebrities? that past, I would say Paul Walker, because I loved the movies he played in, I loved the Fast and the Furious movies, and they're just not the same without him, so yeah, Paul Walker. Number three is a Philosopher's Stone or Excalibur. So, I would definitely say Philosopher's Stone, because I don't think I'd be any good with swords at all. And the Philosopher's Stone would just be, I guess, kind of cool to have, but you'd have to, like, hide it from people and keep it safe and, yeah, protect it. <clears throat> Number four is a hidden talent. What is a hidden talent you have? I don't really have any hidden talents, I don't think. Other than probably being able to roll my tongue as well. But that's about it. I don't know if that's a talent early or not, but we're gonna go with that. Sorry, my phone keeps turning off here. And the next one. I've got a picture going on. Next one is uh, question five: Is what indie book do you think deserves worldwide claim? So I don't read a whole lot of indie books, um, just because. But I do have one that I read maybe a year or two ago. I'm not really. I don't remember, and I really need to read it again. But it is. Really see that. This is really crappy ass lighting. Well, anyways, it is a poison. Um, it's the Wind Dancer series, and it is by a friend of mine named Lane Chan, who is a Australian author. And oh, damn it, this really sucks. You can't really see the, it's really pretty cover. Oh, there we go. Pretty cover. I think you can see it better. But yeah, I read it, like I said, I read it a while back, and I really enjoyed it. And she always told me it was going to be, I believe, somewhat like the Hunger Games shorts. 
sort of. And I was like, I don't like the Hunger Games all that much, to be honest. But I went ahead and read this, and I really, really enjoyed it. So, And I don't think enough people know about it. Because, like I said, she's a Australian author. So, and she's a very sweet person. We, I used to talk to her all the time. Um, and I just, she was, she's really sweet. And she even sent me, she, like, I'll probably end up buying this sooner, sooner, like, soon. But, um, but I remember she sent me a book from Australia that you can't get here in the States. And it was, um, Raw, Raw Blue by Christy Edgar. So, like I said, you guys, she's just... She's an awesome person, and I would definitely recommend reading that. I think you can get it on Amazon for your Kindle. So yeah, now that I've like pitched that out there. So, um, number six is if you could. Oh, that's not what I want. That's showing me the cowboy game. Uh, if you could exist in one movie, what would it be? So there's tons of movies that I would like to be. Like, no doubt. But, um, I think I'm going to steal Nico's answer for this. I'm pretty sure she said Hogwarts. Maybe not. The Harry Potter movies. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just thinking. I don't know. But... Hogwarts, because they have magic, and who wouldn't want to live in a world full of magic? It just sounds awesome. But yeah, definitely Hogwarts, or Harry Potter. <laughs> Number seven is favorite song at the, of the moment. Like, I don't listen listening to a whole lot of radio or music or whatnot, I kind of just listen to Pandora, which just mixes songs. But the ones, the ones that I can think of that I still, that I like right now, or a couple, one is, uh, damn it. one of them is by Casey Ballerini. Can't remember what it's called. But a lot of her music, a lot of her songs are country. And they're just kind of upbeat and fun. And then another one is by um, Jana Kramer, I think is her name. It's the The Boy Song. I can't remember what it is. I can't remember the title. I got the boy, I think, or something like that. But yeah, those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head that I would listen to right now. <laughs> Number eight it says, Your death, who would you bump off? Kill, I wouldn't bump off anybody. That's just mean. But yeah, I don't think I'd kill anyone. I don't think I'd bump anybody off, off unless you really piss me off. So yeah. <laughs> Number nine. If you were the president and you could be in anything, what would it be? Again, I don't really know of anything I would ban because I kind of like having the freedom to do, you know, whatever. What? That's sensible. Okay. Yeah. And number ten, 
is your favorite meal. At the moment, I would definitely have to say chilies, steak, and their loaded mashed potatoes, and the broccoli. It's really good. And I noticed where I got a something on my Facebook that said that they were going to start changing their menu again and going back to the basic burgers and ribs and if they do that and they take my steak off the menu I will be so disappointed so disappointed because I just started liking steak like I hated it for the longest time but yeah so those are my answers if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you are not already subscribed do that so you don't miss any more videos and I will see you guys next time for another tag review or something else.